If you have been keeping up with some virtual reality news, then you probably came across that name Deckard before, because this is supposed to be the code name of the standalone VR headset made by none other than Valve. And finally, we got the translations of an interview that reveals some big details about their upcoming VR headset. Because as you might know, Valve doesn't openly speak about their in-development projects, but in the interview, they stated the following. I can definitely say that we are continuing to develop VR headsets recently and that Valve has a lot of expertise in VR devices and has faith in the medium and VR games. Now you have to keep in mind that the last time that Valve released some VR hardware was all the way back in 2019 with their PC VR headset known as the Index. And one year later, the studios also launched their own VR title that now is known as the best VR game of all time named Half-Life Alex. But still, it has been almost four years since we have heard anything significant about their upcoming products. One big change though came when they released their own Steam Deck platform and where their head chief known as Gabe Newell stated that eventually you could use it for VR applications as well. But meanwhile, we also know a lot more about what the hardware is going to look like. So let's break it down. The main change that will come to the Deckard, or most probably called the Index 2, depending on the name that they choose, is that it will be a hybrid VR headset. This means it will be capable of a standalone mode, as well as being connected to a PC VR to play games that require some more power. And this is pretty much the exact same thing that we can see in the Quest 2. Whereas the previous index was PC VR only. This meant you would always need a buff computer as well as external trackers to even be able to use the headset. So upgrading it to a standalone experience while still giving the possibilities to play these awesome PC VR games will be a big upgrade. Secondly will be the insane new controllers. Because the index is known for their knuckle designs. This means that the strap will wrap around your hand, making sure that you will never lose your controller even while throwing objects in VR. On top of that, it is also capable of supporting finger and hand tracking. And while many people broke a lot of their index controllers, this tech is still high level compared to everything else on the market. But probably its biggest needed upgrade will be its higher resolution display, with leaks showing that it will be rocking dual 4K micro OLEDs, including a high refresh rate and a field of view around 130 degrees. And of course, like we see in all new VR headsets, it will most likely be rocking pancake lenses, similar to that of the Pico 4 as well as the Quest Pro, because this makes sure that it keeps a slim size so that your headset will be a lot less front heavy. But with all these upgrades also comes a hefty price tag, suggesting that the pricing will start around $1,000. EMOTIONAL damn it! And that still might be the low end of it, especially knowing that the index that released 4 years ago is priced pretty much the same as it did when it released. And while I'm personally a big fan of their hardware, I do think they have to come up with some master plan to be able to beat the competition. But one more important thing to keep in mind is that the Deckard should not be confused with their project Gallia, which was one of the most futuristic projects ever made. Because this would integrate a module made by OpenBCI that could read the signals that are coming from your brain and then translate those into your virtual game, creating a first step to a headset similar to that of the full dive nerve gear. But we haven't gotten much news about this project at all. And instead, we know that they partnered up with Varjo to make this into a reality. However, coming in at an absolute crazy price point of $35,000. What? What the f And this absolute ridiculous price point makes it one of the obvious reasons that Valve is probably going away from this project and instead putting full focus on their Deckard VR headset. 